thought it'd be cool to replicate the makeup styles of some influencers who I think are really good looking that I think have also similar features to me. I think it'll just be a really fun challenge that'll number one, increase my confidence in myself, hopefully. <laughs> Two, I'll be able to see how I look in different makeup styles. And three, I'll learn hopefully more techniques for makeup and see which ones could potentially suit my face better. Just overall find makeup styles that I like. I think it'll just be an interesting experiment to do. Also kind of like a disclaimer, when I do this, I'm just gonna do my own skin and eyebrow makeup because I think a lot of people tend to do like foundation and that type of thing, but foundation just doesn't really work well with my skin. So I just use concealer. So I'm just gonna do that. And also I low-key never learned how to do eyebrows properly. So I don't think even if I saw someone else's technique, I would be able to execute it. So I'm just gonna do my own eyebrows. But other than that, I'm gonna try my best to replicate their style or try to follow a tutorial or whatever to see how this same face turns out differently. So let's get into it. I don't know which way. I'm starting off with Narshi from Nar Couple. I always thought Narshi was like literally the prettiest person ever. Okay, she's contouring a lot. I, I'm not gonna do that. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna rub dirt on my face. Amazing. But yeah, I really love their channel and that she's just really badass and drinks a lot. <laughs> I think her and my eye shapes are pretty similar and I always really liked her eye makeup. Maybe I'll be hot with her um, tutorial. <laughs> yeah, I also don't have an eyeshadow palette. I'm just gonna go with the same darkness or lightness of the color she uses, but just as brown because I have four colors and that's it. I was literally just like lying around and being a bum and binging all of look gating and then our couples, I watched their vlog that they went to do their photo shoot for their profile pictures and it kind of reminded me like, damn, that's the type of stuff I want to do. Just like look hot and take pictures of myself and call it work. Must be the life. Wow, I'm literally so Walmart version. I have zero brushes, I just lock my fingers. Love that for me. Oh my god, also she's a makeup artist. I feel like this is the first time I'm actually doing proper shading with eyeshadow. I normally just put like brown and then that's it. <laughs> Not like different shades and dimensions and shit. Okay, it's like sparkly, so maybe this one. Oh my god, you can see the sparkles going up. Wow, that's cool. Anyways, I don't know if this gold is gonna match the brown I used, but Walmart version. <laughs> yeah, I'm so pretty, that's why it's glowing. Whoa, these two eyes look so different now. She said it would give like the effect of getting a specific type of plastic surgery. Loki does. <laughs> I'm shook it. Look at this freaking tip, it's so bad. Shit on my hands. I feel like I look like a cat right now. It's literally crazy how much like one tiny dot of color can do. Okay, I feel like eyeliner is gonna be kind of hard. <laughs> Sorry, not me hyping myself up so much right now. I've literally never done this type of eyeliner before. Knowing how to do makeup for your facial features makes such a big difference. Yeah, like one time this white girl did makeup on me and honestly, she's an artist. Like I feel like her makeup looks pretty good on her, but it looked like shit on me for real. I was bitching about it at lunch. I was talking about like this ugly ass makeup or whatever. And she ended up sitting behind me and I didn't realize. I don't know if she heard, but I feel really bad if she did. The makeup wasn't ugly. It just wasn't for like my eyes because I'm like Asian and she's white. Makeup that fits your features is so important. Also, are my cheekbones low-key popping more? This facial contour work. <laughs> oh my god, I need to hurry the fuck up before my roommate comes back. I feel so awkward every time I film and I'm like talking to myself and I'm scared my roommates hear me. Or like my window is open and if someone walks by and watches me like filming myself, <laughs> that'd be so embarrassing. So she's drawing a line to enhance this ego style. <laughs> I'm sorry, my shitty pronunciation. Okay, she's using fake eyelashes, but my eyelashes are kind of long, so I'm not gonna use it. Or I don't have it anyways, and I don't have the skill to fucking put on fake eyelashes too, so rip, I guess. I'm an amateur, I can't even put on fucking mascara properly. Okay, she's doing her lips now, and I really like her lips. Like, they look like the colon three cat lips. I always really liked that style, but my lips were always really small. Maybe makeup techniques. Okay, not gonna lie, her top lip is a lot fatter than mine. I doubt I'll be able to do it, but we'll see. I'll try to recreate the shading she has. Oh, my room is there. Today's Ozara makeup. Whoa, whoa. 
Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I think Ozar is like one of my number one favorite influencers, to be honest. I'll actually say the story, how I found out about her first. Actually, I'm not really sure if I should be saying this, but I don't really think that many people are gonna watch this anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> I have one singular ex. I've only ever dated one dude and his brother. <laughs> his brother was with Ozaro. <laughs> Bro, literally imagine, imagine. And obviously I followed my ex's brother just all over his Instagram pages. There's him and her holding hands, like their pictures together. And then I was like, dang, she's hot, right? And then obviously you have to do some stalking, right? And then I was like, she's an influencer. And my friends were also talking about it too. Turns out a few of my friends actually followed her before she started dating my ex's brother. I don't know if it was dating actually, but they had a thing at least. And they followed her because they liked her fashion and they thought she was really pretty and stuff. It means I'm doing something right if me and her are dating from the same family right <laughs> bruh oh damn i need to go a little heavier with the makeup okay. you know i think i'm using the wrong color but it's fine oh whoa <laughs> bruh i changed there ain't no way i look like her <laughs> okay i'm gonna use this nude lipstick Contour is crazy. Well, recently, what? My lips are suddenly like five times bigger. I feel like I got plastic surgery. I did us feel like I have like lip plumper right now or like lip injections. Yeah, I just first discovered her like that. And I thought her tattoos and fashion was super cool. But I think one of the main reasons I actually started like really liking her is I guess her values as a person. Because I think I joined a live once and then I realized that she was actually really hardworking. When my friends followed her, they thought she was just like born rich or something. But she actually like worked her way up to wherever she is now. And like she knows a lot, a lot about like financial stuff. And I think she just like interacts really closely with the people that follow her like she talks about all the time how she starts like recognizing people that comment on her posts a lot like, Sometimes she like goes on her discord and just talks to people there So you actually feel like, like she's your friend and that type of thing Yeah, and she was also talking about her view on people treating people differently based on whether they think they're like cool or Smart or rich or that type of thing. I just like really respect the way she treats other people And honestly, I just like kind of aspire to be like her. She taught me some really good lessons Like I think because of her I feel like it's really important to keep my mind open to different types of people because everyone has so much to offer individually and also i'm realizing the value of focusing on one thing and going deep into it is gonna help me become a lot more successful in the long run because i think for me i'm like pretty scattered over a bunch of different interests but yeah i'm trying to be more focused and single-minded right now <laughs> sometimes she just has like shitty exes that people think she gets all her stuff from the guys but she's actually the one who has the money and shit and i guess i kind of just feel better like if a girl like her has to deal with bullshit like that then i can deal with that type of stuff too i can girl boss and like crypto and stuff like that yes my favorite influencer this is the final look i think her makeup style is definitely the most distinct or makes me look the most different probably because i never explored contour before also my eye bags are different sizes fuck <laughs> but i feel like i look like her somewhat <sighs> anyways Okay, today's gonna be Stephanie Sue, and I'm watching her fiance does my makeover video as a makeup tutorial because it's kind of like the closest thing I think to her daily makeup routine. I'm gonna be using this again for eyeshadow, ignoring all the colors and just using shades. I love Stephanie Sue because I don't know her energy is just really good. I think back in high school, whenever I felt kind of lonely, I just watched her videos <laughs> to pass the time because it's entertaining and it feels like I have someone there with me i'm dead <laughs> also she comes from the same area that i do there was one vlog that she did that was literally in the plaza my friends and i went to after high school so every time we wanted to hang out i need to go fast because i have class in 10 minutes now we're gonna get it right here okay i guess she's like really emphasizing her crease loki when it comes to making videos i feel like i should be emulating her energy i'm learning it's like loki skill to be that comfortable around the camera feel yourself Feel yourself. Oh, I would like to reiterate that again, I suck at contour. I feel like it'd be such a dream to be a mukbanger. Like, honestly, if I had the personality, I'd love to do whatever Stephanie does. Just eat and vlog my life for views, but I don't have a boyfriend and I'm not that interesting. <laughs> oh my god, she's coloring her lips in with a lip liner, but I only have like red. Oh my god, my class starts in four minutes. <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend this is a pencil. I think I'm like consistently trying to find ways to make my lips look bigger than they actually are. 
I think I just got a notification that someone in my building got COVID. That's great. I'm not going to class until I finish this. To round this video off, I'm gonna be doing a combination of my favorite techniques from these influencers and see how they all come together on my face uniquely. I'm gonna start off with the eyeshadow that Narcy did. I think it looked the most sexy and I kind of want to like master that technique. It's glittery again. I have a bunch of makeup products I'm just almost finished with and I'm just trying really hard right now to finish them. Like this mascara has been here for a while. And the eyeliner and the powder, they're all just almost gone and, I'm, and I want to use new products but I need to finish these. I don't think I'm that good at eyeshadow. Okay, those are the eyes. I'm gonna be contouring my nose like a Zara again because it looked really cool. But I used the wrong color last time because she used like a blush color. So I'm gonna be using my lipstick as blush and lipstick and contour. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I'll also redo my Egyosar with this color. <sighs> okay. This is cute. And I also want to do the lipstick thing, kind of like Stephanie Sue did, and the under lip contour that Ozara did. Okay. And then highlight really quickly. I don't even know what highlight technique I'm using. This is just like my own <laughs> everywhere, all over the place. Yeah. I'm actually really happy about the way this turned out. I like how my whole face feels cohesive because I did the same color for everywhere. I also feel like I look like some type of animal. I feel like catty because my eyes are like and then my nose is like pinkish. I feel like bunny cat low key. <laughs> Yay! I'd say that overall, I feel like this was a success. I feel like I learned a lot of techniques that suit my face, like for my eyes. This is literally a technique from a makeup artist with similar Asian eye type as me. I definitely feel like this nose contour is kind of meant to emulate like that pointy Western nose. I definitely learned the value of contouring, especially, <laughs> especially the contour under my lip to make it look bigger. <laughs> I keep on checking myself out. <laughs> Yeah, but overall, I definitely think it's a good thing to try out new makeup styles, especially from people that, again, have similar features to you. And I feel like it kind of just helps bridge the gap between like us as normal people scrolling through social media and seeing these really hot influencers and then seeing how just by knowing these techniques, we can also kind of transform. I'm like feeling myself way too much right now. <laughs> I'm like 100% sure I could be a hot Instagram girl if I did this makeup all day and did photo shoots and stuff. Maybe my next step is to learn how to like do photo shoots. I think that's it for this video. Um, I highly suggest trying to follow your favorite influencers' makeups. I promise you, it'll give you a huge ass confidence boost. So thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Bye.